Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Ty, with the uh, Razor Blade Stealth and the Razor Core. I've got a GTX 1080 Founders Edition in it now, after getting it back from Razor. Um, got a couple numbers to go over with you guys, ran some more 3D Mark benchmarks. Obviously, regular Fire Strike, Extreme, and Ultra. I'll have a link to all of the data down in the description. Um, we did really well with the GTX 1080 in the core with the stealth and an external monitor. Uh, most cases we actually beat out my buddy's desktop, which was rocking a Asus Strix 980. Um, we had a great score from 3D Mark at the normal Fire Strike. We had a 9143 versus our test rigs 11968. Uh, when we went to extreme, we saw that actually flip a little bit. Our test rig only got 6232, and our GTX 1080 with the razor blade stealth and external monitor got a 6552. And then once we hit 4K, the jump became a little bit more apparent with the test rig only scoring 3309, and the razor blade stealth scoring 4148. Now, as far as all of that goes, I'll let you guys read the rest of it. If you guys want to go into detail with all of the data, you can. Um, it was a little weird that the GTX 980 actually outperformed the 1080 with the Razorblade Stealth's internal monitor. Um, I'm going to jog that down to the Razor Core's, you know, by 4 PCIe slot um, and the Thunderbolt 3 cable. That's the only thing that I can think of. 1080 should have outperformed it at normal, and unfortunately it did not every time. Um, I don't have anything for the 980 in the extreme, hence why there's just an NA, not applicable. I guess that was one of the tests that I failed to run. Um, I'll give all of this data to you guys as well, as I've said before. Um, we did see some great results. Granted, it's a little more expensive than the test rig that we had, but the test rig was also rocking the i7-6700K stock clocks, and we were only running the 6500U in the stealth, obviously. Um, the physics score is pretty much the only thing that the test rig actually beats completely at. Um, the Razor Blade Stealth Core and 1080 combo, if you've got 4K external monitor, you can game on it, no problem, guaranteed. Um, granted, your more CPU intensive games like we talked about last time, GTA 5, will have a hard time just because of the 6500U and the stealth. Blade 14 2016 owners should have no problem. You guys get the core, throw in a 1080 in there, even a 1070, um, it shouldn't be a problem. 4K gaming, external monitor. Um, my buddy just got a new 1080 actually um, in his desktop. So I'm going to be back. We'll have some of those results. He also got a 1070 Founders Edition for his girlfriend, so I'm going to be trying to pop that in here. Just get some more things down in the benchmarks. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to see, anything that's feasible, I know a couple of you have requested some games. I unfortunately haven't had time for those. I'm going to try and get around to it. Um, but if you guys want to check anything else out, have me try anything on it that's free, don't really feel like spending more money than I already have unless I'm actually going to enjoy the game. Uh, leave a comment down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this. Um, like, dislike, usual things with all the other YouTubers. And uh, keep it up, guys. I'll see you later.